only one that feels a little weird having like a full face of makeup, but my hair is just like, what's happening? We are about to slay a braided ponytail. This is gonna be like a super long braided pony. I'm sure you guys have seen this over on my Instagram. You guys blew up the comment section and told me basically, please show us how to do this. So that is what we are going to do today. So make sure you guys take a second to subscribe to my channel for more videos and head over to my Instagram and my Twitter because I'm always there to share new stuff before it pretty much comes out on YouTube. Now this is gonna be like the easiest tutorial you will ever watch, but you're gonna look so snatched when you do this style. It takes about 15 minutes when you're not filming it. And also it's a great style if you don't wanna put a lot of heat on your own hair, so it's great as a protective style. In a sense, all I did to prep my hair so far was co-wash it in the shower and then I blow dried it straight. You guys are definitely gonna need some extensions. This is the pack that I use. I get it from my local beauty supply. The only thing you really want to keep in mind is to make sure that you get a shade that matches your natural hair. So I go with number four. It's like a dark brown and I have it in 24 inches. You could definitely do this much longer if you want, but I like to keep it simple. Like I said, this is like a 10 to 15 minute hairstyle. And really it's my favorite because it's my go-to when my hair looks like this and I just don't know what the heck to do with my hair and I'm in a pinch for time. Now I'm not gonna open up this pack because I already have an extension that I'm using now and you can use them over and over, which is why I like this style. Just make sure that you take care of it when you take your hair out and you put it in a place where it's not going to get you know, tangled up and knotted because braiding hair tends to get knotted pretty easily. And also, did I mention this is like under $2? So I'm just going through and lightly detangling the ends. And I like to make sure that the ends aren't necessarily all even. Otherwise, you get a very bulky end of your braid. So when you take your braiding hair straight out of the pack, it's going to come with a little elastic around it just to hold the strands together because this is all loose hair. You know, it's not like a weft where you have it like sewn down. It's all loose strands. So that's kind of where you want to be careful because you could get this all over your house and it won't be a pretty scene. So I just cut off the original band and then I take just a hair elastic because that's a little bit thicker And it's a little more sturdy for attaching this to our actual pony. So here's mine here I'm just gonna wrap it around and then just knot it so it stays in place and I have like a loop action going on so It's kind of hard to show But I'm just gonna loop it. This is directly in the middle of the hair as well like I said so I tied it in a knot around the hair and that is how we're going to attach this to our ponytail. Do you see that? So that's like the first step to prepping your extensions for our braid. So now I'm gonna go in with my hair. Like I said, I had already gone through and blow dry it straight cause I don't wanna do this on wet hair and my natural texture is super curly. Oh yes. But I'm gonna go in with my Carol's Daughter Styling Gel. And this is really great because it helps to keep my hair sleeked back. And I'm not shy with this product at all. It doesn't really add a crunch or anything to my hair. So for me, it really works around the edges. So I'm gonna put this around the whole perimeter of my head. Not putting this on the ends or anything. Put it on the kitchen. And now this is also where I go in with a little bit of my hairspray again. So when I'm brushing this back, it's really gonna stay in place. And I like, I look crazy. I like to use the John Frieda Frizzies Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. That's great for 24 hour humidity resistance and expert frizz hold, whatever. Just get your favorite hairspray, okay? And I'm gonna again spray this around the perimeter just over the top of the gel. And get yourselves like a boar bristle brush. This one's by Sony Kashuk. And make sure you already have, which I don't, two hair elastics around your wrist. The tighter, the better. That's good. You just gotta be prepared. This part is kind of annoying because you really wanna make sure that you don't have any lumps or bumps in our pony because it's supposed to be super sleek. So that's why you gotta be prepared and just take your time. And by the way, we're gonna be, I feel like I have a facelift right now. This is so tight. Um, by the way, this is gonna be going as high as you want. I like to do a pretty high ponytail for this. Um, and it's also going to be centered. So if you wanna do like a side braid, make sure you still center the ponytail because you can always just braid it in whatever direction you want. 
And just before you put the elastic on, double check that it's all smooth. You see I go in with the hairspray. Yeah, I make this thing so tight. This ponytail is not gonna go anywhere. I wrap it around three times. And pull. Now that we've gotten the hair slicked up and it's super tight in a center high ponytail, guys, I swear I just got an instant facelift. This is where we're gonna go in with our extension. So we already tied around the elastic and we're just gonna put this around the base of the ponytail, just so. Just do it one time, just like that. And you see the color matches perfect. So again, this is number four. And you could totally do this with like ombre and other colored extensions and like braiding hair. You can get it usually on Amazon. So I'll leave some links to my favorites down below in case you guys want to try that out. I definitely want to do like an ombre blonde one next. I think that will be really fun for fall time. So now this is the part where it can get a little tricky. First of all, we're gonna leave out a chunk because you see how we can see the elastics here. That's not what we want in the end of the look. So I'll probably just section off about an inch chunk of my own hair without any of the extensions. And I'm gonna clip it away so it doesn't get braided into the mix. I'm just gonna use one of these wrap clips. Now we are going to divide our hair into three sections to begin the braiding process. Now this is where you can decide which way you want your braid to sort of hang. If you want it to be straight back, then just section it off straight back. But I like mine to be on the, what side is this, left, left side of my face. So I'll section it off and braid it towards the left side so the braid is essentially just hanging that way instead of having to do like an off-center ponytail, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to lightly brush and smooth out this layer again, making sure that you don't include this little section here. I'm gonna lightly pull and detangle the braiding hair. Like I said, it does get knotted. Just rip it, honestly, it doesn't matter. It's not your hair. And then you just braid. Now I like to go tighter towards the top, just so my own hair blends seamlessly with the braiding hair. So. Like I said, I just go a little bit tighter until I see that my hair is no longer there. See that? Do you see how you can't even really tell where my hair ends and where the braiding hair continues? That's why you really wanna make sure that you do a nice tight braid. And if you want a fatter braid, all you have to do is just add more braiding hair into your ponytail. So this is just one pack. If you want it to be fatter than this, then probably start adding like a half a pack, a pack and a half, I'm sorry, to your little ponytail that we created in the beginning. See, it's so tangled. I'm like watching the clock because I have to leave here in 15 minutes to go to an appointment and I did not want to go with a crazy hair look. Let me just move my mirror. The end can get a little mysterious, you know? So I'm gonna stop braiding and I'm gonna go in with my little goodie brand hair tie. We're gonna fix the actual ponytail. So like, why do we have this hair here? Let me show you guys. I'm gonna unclip it. And you're also gonna wanna need like two or three bobby pins. I use like dark brown ones that match my natural hair color. I'm gonna just lightly smooth it out. And then we're just gonna wrap it around the base of our ponytail to conceal all of the elastics and the attached extension. So that's why I like doing like a one inch chunk because I feel like it's thick enough to hold it. And then I'll just use my bobby pins. And just so you know, make sure that the bumpy part of the bobby pin is at the bottom because that's gonna hold the hair down. Now what I like to do is top off my hairstyle with like a sheen spray because it is braiding hair. It doesn't necessarily have like the best healthy appearance, especially if you continue to use the hair over and over several times. So I'm gonna go in with my olive oil nourishing sheen spray. Yes, shake it up a bit. 
and just spray it mostly on like the top. And sometimes I'll fluff the base of my ponytail up so it's a little bit fuller and then you can kind of decide, you know, where you want to place it. This part is key, you guys. You want to lay your edges down and smooth them out. So I'm gonna go in with my Cream of Nature Perfect Edges and an edge brush. This one I found at Target, surprisingly enough. Um, if I can find a link for it online, I'll be sure to leave it down below. But I'm gonna go in with a lot of this stuff. I love it so much. And just lay it down on my edges and then I'll brush it in. I feel like this part makes the biggest difference in this style. And if you wanna use a toothbrush, you can, I usually do, but Mine was so crusty, I had to throw it out. Do you see that? Like it just gives you a better hairline and it really helps to smooth and sleek this look down. Sorry, I had to rebraid the end because I just didn't like how it looked. Why is it every time that I do something off camera, it looks way better than when I actually decide to sit down and film it? Can you explain that to me? But yeah, I'm just braiding it all the way down. And then I'll secure it. Secure the braid alert. How many times do you need to hit the doorbell? I'm gonna just fluff the base to add a little extra volume. And you can spray this down, but I don't really like this part to be crunchy, you know? I just kinda like it to look like a braid just grew out of my scalp. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I like to just wear it straight back like this. But that is it for my simple how to slay a braided ponytail. I hope that you dolls enjoyed today's video. You know, if you want to slay the streets at night, do this look. You know, if you want an instant facelift, do this look. If you want to rock the sidewalks in these streets, do this look. If you guys decide to try it out, be sure to tweet me a photo. I would love to check out your styles on Twitter at AKDoll. You can also find me on Instagram at AKDoll and Snapchat at Kayla.Lachey. All of my links are always down below. Do so you guys like hair videos? I know it's been a minute since I've done one, but this was really fun for me to just get back into hairstyles that you can do with your own hair with minimal heat. Like I did not straighten my hair beforehand and there's no need for you to do that. And that is one of the reasons why I really like this style. 10 to 15 minutes is all you guys need. Bye.